But it's very important for companies to be thinking about their reimbursement strategy from day one. Uh, there are uh, many companies that take the approach of build it and they will come. You get through the FDA, you're on the market, you can make sales and company, uh, a customer will then say, well, how do I get paid for this device? Um, if you haven't thought about that, it's a big problem. So uh, you, uh, your product may or may not have a reimbursement code. There may be different use cases for your product and depending on where it's used, how it u it's used in whom, uh, there may or may not be a reimbursement code. Uh, the process to get them can be long and uh, challenging. Uh, and in the meanwhile, uh, you still need to have sales. Uh, so, um, uh, perhaps there is uh, another way that you can show value for your product. Are you an efficiency? Uh, are you preventing complications? What's the value? Can you uh, model this based on existing studies? Can you actually study it in your um, feasibility or pivotal trials? So if you can build these kind of endpoints in and have a coherent evidence strategy where you're going through regulatory, you're getting through FDA, and also generating data that's going to speak to payers or purchasers, uh, that's really important. And uh, at every stage of your development, you're going to have to have a more in-depth, as you go, explanation for this. So uh, early attention to reimbursement or valuation um, and, um, and, and early action to generate data.